Oh. It's a text from Swimmer Lucas. Just watch your Pokemon Black True and Luck. Your female voice sounds like Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. And were you drunk when recording the latest episode? How rude. How's it going my truant people? Dr. Slacking the Drunk Doctor back again with our Pokemon Black Truant Lock. And I'm not really drunk. Swimmer Lucas, he's just a strange man. He's just a strange man saying things like that to me. I'm deeply offended, deeply hurt, scarred in fact. Our friendship over, ruined, we're no longer rivals. But moving on from all that silliness, I did some grinding. I did the thing. I did the thing. I did the grinding. So Poirot is level 7 now. With that huge 14 attack stat. I don't know if that is huge, but it feels pretty good. And we also have Iggy at level 7 with a, level, with a 14 attack stat too. So I guess maybe Pyro's isn't that huge. Uh, but Pyro does hit slightly harder because it has tackle. With that stab backing at base 50. Whereas Iggy with her 12 special, or his 12 of special attack, sorry. Can only use base 40 stab. So, so Pyro is hitting a little bit harder, I discovered in grinding. Um, I have a lot of faith in Pyro actually. I think this man is going to be an animal gonna be an absolute beast uh did i buy items or did i forget to do that i forgot to do that so we're gonna kick off the episode by buying items exciting stuff i know um but then we're gonna go outside and i believe i believe we battle n so that will be a lot of fun and i'm pretty confident that the team now are in good shape we've still got 2000 left after that um no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend my money for now. What do you give me at this next next desk? Next desk. English. English. It is my first language. I swear. Male. No. That's no. I don't want that. I don't want that even a little bit. So obviously, when I came out of here the first time to go do the grinding between the episodes, there was a bit of dialogue which says something along the lines of, "Oh, something's happening in the plaza. Let's go check it out." Something like that. So. Moving on with the story now, we obviously have to come over to the plaza to see what is going on. Doc, come here a sec. I'm, I'm already here. I I'm, I'm literally stood, like my the back of my cap is lightly brushing your hair. You can feel the breath on the back of your neck. Uh, my name is Getsis. We should read the dialogue. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I maybe should have given him a voice. What voice could I give Getsis? My, my repertoire of voices are already used up and we're in episode 2. I've got High Pitch and I've got Sharon's. That, that's, that's my whole repertoire. Um, we'll just carry on for now until I think of one. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? I see this man, the, the front row right at the end in the little cap with the green hair. I know who that is. Pokemon are subjects to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way, yikes, I don't know. The crowd, man, the crowd interaction here is wild. This guy's got them going. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. Oh, I thought he was going to say something really profound. That was not that profound. That was, that was pretty standard. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility to all these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That was definitely the granny in the back with the little pink bit in her hair. She knows that she's like, Liberation! Set them all free! That's right. We must liberate Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon. And the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. I mean, at this point, he doesn't seem like... The music seems very sinister. 
But he doesn't seem that sinister to me. He's just like, guys, let's have a little think. Uh, do we have a healthy relationship with our Pokemon? Do we treat them with the right amount of respect? You know, is everything right between us? I feel like they're valid questions. About that speech. What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. The granny's down. The granny's well on for it. She's going to liberate everyone. Oh, a voice for N. Your Pokemon. Just now. It was saying. Slow down. You talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes. They're talking. Oh. Then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is... N. It's not a name, my friend. That's not a name. My name is Sharon, and this is Doc. Their voices are kind of similar, so I'm trying not to get them mixed up. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering... Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Doc, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. This guy, I think I've made him sound probably creepier than he is with that voice. What does he have? Does he have his, like, Zoro straight away? No, he just has a Purloin. Boy, you're about to get blown back. Poirot don't mess with no cats. This man, Poirot's gonna get you. Can I move the, uh, can I? Nope, I can't move the moose. Okay, that's annoying. We don't fear you, Poirloin. You can growl or you... Ooh, Poirot. Um, I guess that is after one attack drop. I guess. I'll, I'll cut him some slack. It's after one attack drop. And ooh, the bulk. That's not doing anything to us. Three damage. You're doing nothing, N. Absolutely zero. Poirot's a beast. Poirot's got this. This man, he's out here investigating the mystery. He's like, hmm. Hmm. Who is Getsis? Who is N? Should I liberate the Pokemon? Was someone murdered on this train? Poirot's on it. He's, he's, he's on to the scent of the mystery. He's a sniffer dog. He's a detective. I'm going to have so much fun with this name during the series. I can already tell. As long as Pokemon... Oh, that's the wrong voice. <clears throat> as long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs... Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they are my friends. Who needs an apostrophe? I don't pay attention to grammar. Ha! Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town. Striaton City. We're going to go with Striaton. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay. I think I got this. Oh, the music got so peaceful again. I'm quite liking the music in this game already, to be fair. I'm quite enjoying it. It's been reasonable. Reasonable. Sharon's voice hurts my throat so much. Next series, we're giving our rival... Just my voice. He's just going to sound exactly like me. Which probably all of our characters do anyway. Because <laughs> I'm not exactly the most uh, versatile voice actor. But I try. Um, I think there is someone in one of these houses down here. I know the house on the top of the hill. See, I know early bits of most games. And I know the house on the top of the hill gives us... Uh, doesn't give us anything. I think she just plays the piano, right? The music's beautiful. Um, but this guy, this guy gives me something. I can tell it. You give me something. Nope. Okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I swear there's one in this town that gives me something. I can say, early parts of the games, the first couple of towns, I tend to be okay because as a kid, and even as a young adult, and even now, to be fair, I restart games a lot. I'll get to like the fourth gen and they'll be like, oh, I want to start again and pick a different starter or whatever. That's always been my problem. Come on, give me some stuff. Free stuff! I'm British. All I want is free stuff. Even if it's bad, you know? 
I'm sure I know there are British people watching and you know if you're in a shop and they're giving out free samples They say they're giving out there. We go. It's a pokeball. That'll do me. They're giving out free samples of cheese You could be lactose intolerant. You would still take that free sample of cheese because you're just like ah, Free stuff free free stuff. I got it. I got to I I'll wait in line for it even better if I get the chance to queue for free stuff then uh, I'm gonna go with water Ah! Ah, oh, you win. If I beat her, do I get something? Or does she beat me every time? Okay, I think she's gonna go. I went water, so she went grass. She might expect me to go fire, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go grass. Ah! She obviously beats me every time. Either that or she is just better at rock, paper, scissors than me. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna get our next encounter. We couldn't buy repels, so uh, Andrew suggested that we try and repel our way to Dream Yard to get um, at least uh, one of the elemental monkeys to kind of complement or to cover one of our weaknesses. There's no way we're gonna be able to make it through this grass without getting an encounter. Dot picked up the X transceiver or the cross transceiver, even. Whew, that was close. Ah, oh, come on! Mom, leave me alone! I can't do your voice! <laughs> it hurts so much! What was it? It was really high pitched, wasn't it? Doc! It's your mum! <laughs> How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up. The cross transceiver now. Oh, that line of dialogue came out awkward. Why? What? Ah, uh, leave me alone! Doc! It's Cosmo! <laughs> I finally caught up with you and something something already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed to Force Triatum by now. I have another present for you, Doc. Try these on. Boy! Thanks, man. Okay, you're good, you're good. Your voice is obnoxious, but you're good. When you're running, 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 when you're... <clears throat> when you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Let me read you the instructions. Is that correct grammar? Let me read you. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Putting on the running shoes and tear around to your heart's content. That's what it says. <laughs> I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Timmy, you understand that. You're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon. You have friends. And you're always with your fairly odd parents. That's alright then. Enjoy your trip. I feel like I am tripping. Honestly. I feel like I am tripping. My throat. Ah, oh, I'll be gurning in a second. Okay, give me some stuff. Give me some stuff. Nothing. Okay. So I think the encounters here. I don't think they're... As you say, I think the best one would have been Pit of. Because it would have covered our fighting weakness-ish. Um, would have let us hit fighting types with super effective damage at least. But I'm actually down with Purloin. Ooh, that did a lot. Poirot, you need to calm down, my man. You need to calm down. Uh, nickname for a female. Oh, wait, I can't count. Ah, oh, female. This is a truant lock. Okay, this doesn't count. I have to release it. Boo. Just instantly, instant fail. Two encounters in and I've already screwed up the rules of the turret lock. I'm gonna have to release this thing. I lose a Pokeball, so I guess that's my punishment. All that time spent looking for a Pokeball and I then just blow it on a, on a female. Story of my life, story of my life. All this time invested and blow it on a female. Huh. A trainer catches another trainer's eye. That is the start of a Pokemon battle. I already know this. I'm a seasoned vet. Youngster Jimmy, what do you got? Patrat? I'm not scared of your Patrat. I don't want a Patrat. I don't really want a Patrat. Especially not on this team. Oh, Poirot's cry is so cute. How have I not heard that before? I'm, I'm going to try and learn that cry. And then he'll evolve and it won't be relevant anymore. But I'm still going to try and learn that cry. Get out of my face, Patrat. You ugly little man. With your funny little eyes. Ooh! Thank you. That's a lot of experience. 
That was so much experience. Poirot's out here. Uh, we'll get my boy to level 10, and then we'll switch into... Yeah, go for it. Woo! I was watching. I was watching, my friend. That was remarkable. You should you should get some kind of sponsorship deal from, like, Nike or something. Adidas. Reebok. Even Umbro. Like, there's got to be someone out there that will sponsor you. Okay, so we do actually avoid an encounter thanks to the true lock rules. Oh, your lily pup versus my lily pup. Poirot's got you. Poirot's definitely got you. What level are you going to be? Level 7? Yeah, look at this. Accurate predictions as well. Eee! That's what he sounds like. He sounds more like a monkey or like a gibbon. I'm more like a gibbon than a dog. Ugh! Two shutting everything out here. I'm going to be doing that all day now. It's going to be extremely annoying for my girlfriend. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Oh, what was Bianca's voice? Oh, hi, Doc. I can't remember her voice. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Uh. Okay, please the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger ready or not here. I come I was not anticipating this and if this if this girl has like level nines, I might get bodied. I might get destroyed um, Can you not be anchor can you not so another thing that I didn't mention actually about the truant lock is we will be playing on the switch style rather than set because we can only switch between two of the mons because of our squad rule so I don't really feel like it gives me too much an advantage This thing might get one shot no. That was ambitious. That was ambitious. I guess we didn't level up after the last one, actually. Uh, do I need to heal for her... For her snipe? No, she has the Tepig, right? So that's fine. That's fine. Iggy can come in and handle the Tepig. Boy, I've got you. Here comes Iggy. Here comes the main man. This little one is up next. This little one is going down. Iggy is getting his revenge. And we outspeed now. So that nature coming into play this time. Instead of getting outsped by a blooming Tepig because of our crap IVs. We're actually going to outspeed this time. Consistently. So it probably wasn't even a speed tie. Oh, that has been a low roll. Am I in trouble? You are, Bianca. You are on the ropes, Bianca. Oh, it smells like my dinner is nearly cooked. Exciting stuff. Oh, What? Why did I go for tackle? Why did I do that? Why? Okay, we got this. I'm going for water again. I'm not letting her spam potions against me. This woman. I'm not allowing it. I'm not. I'm not allowing it. There we go. Easy. Easy money. Easy money for the squad. Thanks, Bianks. Thank you. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Doc. I'm going to work hard. Oh, I've got her voice. I'm going to work hard on my training so my Pokemon won't lose anymore. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bianca. Bye-bye. Well, see you soon. So... Oh, this isn't where the Dream Yard is. Is this where the Dream Yard... Oh, yeah, the Dream Yard's up there. I remember now. I remember. Uh, so, we've got a few minutes left of the 20-minute episode, I think. Uh, I think we're on about 18 minutes now. My dinner... Smells as though it is nearly cooked. I'm having a fish pie. Very, very, uh... What's the term I'm looking for? Divisive. Very divisive food, fish pie. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people down fish pie. A lot of other people, not so down. Me? Big fan. Big, big fan. Big fan. Uh, before we go to the Dream Yard and wrap up this episode, we are going to release our Limba uh, Perloin. I don't know if that means it would have had Prankster or not. If it didn't even get Prankster, then I'm not interested, really. I really hope we get Prankster on our Perloin. Mild nature, I have no idea if that was good or not. Not a Scooby-Doo, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go and... I think it's up here, right? It is up here. It is up here. Oh, do you battle me? Oh, you do. You do. Lady, I want my monkey. I want my monkey. Oh, I need to be thinking of a nickname for a monkey. Um, 
Uh, I know. I know what we're gonna call it. I know what we're gonna call it. Hit him with that tackle. Purloin goes down. We're good. We're golden. We're golden. So if I'm right, we get the grass monkey to cover for our... No, wait, that can't be right. Wait, do we get the fire monkey? Oh, no, I hate the fire monkey. Now I don't want to nickname it what I was going to nickname it, because that seems mean. I was going to name it after one of you guys, but now I don't want to... Because the fire monkey's so ugly. So ugly. I thought we got the grass monkey, but that wouldn't really make sense, because that doesn't help with our grass weakness. Oh, man. Simi Seer is so gross. Or is it Pan Seer? I don't know which way around it is. I don't know which way around it is. Simi comes first or Pan comes first, but I do not like the second one. The little... He's the mozart looking one, isn't he? Playing the piano. I do not like him. I am not a fan. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't get that and I'm wrong. Oh, so we can't get into the actual dream yard without cuts. Is that where we get the monkey? Or do we get the monkey out here? I feel like we get it out here. I feel like we get it out here. You guys are already screaming at me right now. Going, no, you don't. You have to go into there. You have to go beat the gym first. Um, if that is the case, we will go get our other encounter. We will go get our, uh, our Purloin or our Pidurve, I think. Because I don't want to go to the gym with just two Pokemon. I don't want to take that chance. I'd rather... Maybe not have the best typings on the squad going forward, uh, but at least be able to get through the gym. That's my kind of thinking. Poirot, you've done enough. You have done enough. Let Iggy take some uh, some screen time. This little otter. Let's get her out here. Actually, Patrat's cute. Cr Cry is quite cute as well, despite my dislike for it. We need to hurry up and get a Razor Show. Oh, I forgot to say, so between episodes, Iggy obviously learnt Water Gun. I don't think Iggy had Water Gun um, before I did the grinding, so. He did get that, which was nice. Um, I thought Razor Show was a first stab move, but I think we get Razor Show when we evolve into uh, to what? I think it's then that we get it, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, our jolly nature is going against us for a little while at the beginning, but it will come round. Level 9 Lillipup, yeah, because Lillipup hits hard. We've really seen that from Poirot. I don't want to risk Iggy. I don't want to risk Iggy, our little man. And I know Poirot will two-shot this thing. Oh, level 7, why did I think level 9? I don't know why I thought level 9. This man just sniffed me. I mean, that is quite realistic. Two dogs meeting, they do tend to sniff each other in, in you know certain certain ways so I guess that wasn't so uh yes we will take helping hand over mm, Leah no we won't we won't take helping hand because there's probably not that many that would... ah no we're gonna keep it all moving so I feel like there's more triple battles in this game and rotation battles and all that good stuff so I don't think we'll worry about um we'll worry about helping hand too much if this was gen 3 I'd be on it I love a good helping hand Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, sure. Ready? Then... Ah, oh, Pansia. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, you never know. We can maybe do something with the man. Um, let's give me a name that's hard to spell. I need to get my phone out to Google how the hell you spell this name. Okay, my phone's not in my pocket. I'm going to have to do it on here. You're going to lose audio for a second, guys, while I... Oh, you're not going to lose audio. Okay. I take that back. I thought the game audio would go. How do I spell this? Like that. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So now we have pants. And it is male, so we can add it immediately. For static um, or uh, gifted Pokemon. Static cans or gifted Pokemon. We could just put them in the PC. We wouldn't have to release them like the Purloin. We could just add them to the PC until... Oh, it doesn't fit! I wanted to call it Rachmaninoff. That's the only other composer I know of. Um, 
Okay, well, we're, we're gonna use his first name instead then. Me out here trying to be fancy. Me out here trying to be fancy and it doesn't work. We're gonna call him Sergey. I like that because it reminds me of the meerkat from Compare the Meerkat, which I've already used in my videos once. There we go, Sergey. If this thing is timid or modest, I will accept it. Otherwise, I hate it. <laughs> I don't really hate Sergey. <laughs> Sergey, I love you really. You're a valid member of this team. Impish. Why do I feel like that is bad? Why do I feel like that is bad? That is terrible. That is actually terrible. That's why. That is actually terrible. Special attack drop and defense boost. Seeing it is... As far as I'm aware, an out and out special attacker normally. I mean, its attack looks decently high at 17, so maybe I can run it physical? I don't think I've ever seen it run physical. I think usually this and the water one are run physical, uh, special. And only the grass one is run physical. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Um. We're going to wrap the episode up here then, guys. Unfortunately, we can't. Unless I can... Oh, no. We'll tell you what we can do. i tell you what we can do is we can go and get our first female encounter. And we can start building up the, the gal squad. We can get some, some female power on the team. Okay. Woo! We avoid Patrat for another, for another encounter. Come on, Purloin. Give me that Purloin that I just missed out on. Give me that purloin that I just missed out on. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Poirot's cry. I love it. I love Poirot's cry. Female. Female. Probably shouldn't just shout the word female. It sounds quite bizarre. Ah, Patrat. Leave me be. Leave me be. Leave me be. What's up here? What's up the hill? I'm getting way too hot now. I put a coat on and I'm now scorching hot. Absolutely scorching hot. I was cold before. A potion and a Pokeball, so it was well worth coming up here. Come on, I want an encounter before we wrap things up. I want to get the gal squad going. What have we got? Oh, leave me be. Patrat, man. You're more obnoxious than my mother. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. How many is that? Four? Four? Four encounters? Ah, oh, that's dupes. Much as I would love another Poirot. We can have Mrs. Poirot. I, I honestly might ignore dupes if we get a female that leave up and have a Mrs. Poirot. That'd be so cute. Until she grew a great big moustache. <laughs> then it would be slightly worrying. Oh, it is a Patrat. Okay. Well, you know, these things happen. These things happen. Uh, there's no way I can hit you, so... I maybe could hit you once, maybe. But we'll just throw a Pokeball, I think it'll be fine. What do I nickname a female Patrat? Um, this one should have been called Sergei. There are no female characters in the Compare the Meerkat adverts, I don't think. Hmm... We're going to call Patrat. Uh, so I think in the Compare the Meerkat adverts, one of them is called like Alexander. So if we go off. Oh no, that's not how you. That's not how the English language works. That's how it works. If we go off that and call it Alex, Alexa, that's kind of like it. It's kind of like it. You see what I'm doing? You see my logic? Nope, that's not the bag. No, that is the bag. That's not what I want. That's what I want. So we'll check out Alexa and then we'll call it a day. I think this overran by about 10 minutes there. Lonely. Um, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> I can sack it easier. No, that's not what I mean. Um, it gets an attack boost and it gets run away, which is it's kind of cool. So if we're in a problem at some point, we can guarantee fleeing. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, guys, we are going to end it here. In the next episode, we will go and take on the gym. Um, I might do a little bit of grinding in between episodes too, just to get us better prepared. Maybe get up to level 12, 13 on everything. Anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for loafing around with me, and I will catch you again next time.